All right, guys, so today I am planning on building a box to skate because I have a rail already and I thought it'd be cool to show you guys how to build a box. I'm at Home Depot, I'm, you know, I'm worried about the, the virus going around, so I'm not gonna take the camera in, but I have a list of stuff I need. I'm a little more organized this time and then I have a mask too, so I'm gonna be in and out and then I will start showing you guys how to build the box. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. It was about, I don't know, 30 minutes in there, not even. This is how I did it though, if you guys are wondering. This is everything I got. A 50 pack of number 10, one and a half inch wood screws. These corner brackets, there's two each. They're two inches. All the hardware's in there. Not sure if I'm gonna use these. I have some leftover wood that I was probably gonna make braces out of, but I'm not sure yet. I got this, I think it's one inch by two inch or three inch, just eight foot piece of wood to brace the bottom. This is gonna be the deck. It's two inches by one foot and 10 foot long. These are going to be the side walls. They are, I think six inch, six inches wide, two inch thick, 10 foot long, of course. And then I bought these over here. So same stuff I use on my P-rail. It is one and a quarter inch PVC pipe, 10 feet long. And I also have these, they're left over from the P-Rail project. I think they're 18 inches long, they're just two by four. But what I was thinking about doing is using these as uh, triangle braces. So I bought a handsaw. I don't have any power tools, I don't have the budget for that. But I'm gonna cut these into triangles and then brace the inside of the box with this, but not sure yet. So I might have a little bit of an issue. There's a crack running pretty far up, probably about three, three feet, four foot. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might just, I don't wanna fracture it more by screwing into it, but I think that's what I'm gonna try to do. It's, it's a bummer, it just, it's such a huge piece. I don't wanna mess with it by driving it back to the store. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put a Band-Aid on this because it's too much to take back to the store at the moment. It's just too big. I didn't mind driving it here. I really don't want to drive it back and then get another one. I think what I'm going to do is just do a few holes evenly spaced, not too many because I don't want to break this even more. And hopefully it'll hold up. I might do like a secondary wood brace here, but I think the way this is going to get skated, it's not going to put too much pressure to where I'm worried about it. On the other side, it doesn't look too bad. So yeah, I'm going to try to fix this real quick. Just three screws if you have to do this. I would just check your wood before you buy anything, but obviously if you have to do this, you know, make this the bottom. So the inside of the box, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But it seemed to fix the issue for right now. Okay, so I'm gonna have trouble doing this by myself, I can already tell, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use those braces that I bought to basically, so if this is the wall and this piece is the deck, basically I want to sink the deck a little bit so that way the coping can protrude on the top. I think I'm gonna use the braces to line that up and then screw the coping into the wall part instead of the deck part, which I was originally planning on doing. I think it'll just be a little easier that way and I'll be able to get the coping to pop up like the way I like it too. So I'm gonna try to do that now. I'm gonna use my L bracket here 
and this is my inside of the box. So if I flip it over, that'll be my top deck. This will be the inside that no one will see. So I'm just going to use this as a guide to square up. And then I'm going to mount this plate to the inside here. I think that's a good starting point. I've never done this before, guys, but <laughs> hopefully it comes out in a way that works. But this is just to help me because I'm working alone at the moment. So this is what I was talking about by getting this bracket on first. That way, when I go to do the legs, the whole box is upside down right now. But when I go to do the legs, I can just kind of shift them to where I want and screw them in place. And that'll give me that kind of room that I need for the coping later. So I think I'm going to do that on each side, each end, and then in the middle and get the legs on next before the coping. What I'm doing now is I couldn't find anything laying around that was three-fourths of an inch thick, which is the gap I need for the coping. So what I'm going to do is just use one of these scrap pieces of wood, saw through it, then take that piece, put it under here, and put my side walls on top of that, and then screw them into place. It's basically just a, uh, like a placeholder. Not the uh, most accurate, but it'll do the job. <laughs> Okay, so I got the first screw in over here. Um, I'm not gonna do the other two yet. I just kind of using it as a placeholder. I'm gonna go down there and do the same thing. It's a little darker down there, so I'm not gonna film, but it's the same exact thing I'm doing down here. And once I get it kind of in place, I'm gonna flip this upright, so that way I can screw into it and hopefully get this wall. It won't be, using just the brackets, it won't be ready to skate. What I think I'm gonna do is make some, some wedges out of this two by four 
and kind of just use them as inside braces. Or I might just use the whole 2x4. I'm just trying to save weight because I'm going to be carrying this thing to skate spots. So yeah, I'm uh, going to do the same thing down there that I did over here. And I'll show you guys what that looks like after I'm done. Okay, I just have two flimsy little screws in but I'm gonna try my best to flip this upright so that way I can screw in the rest of the screws and hopefully it holds together. Um, again, the reason why I'm doing this is because it's only me working on this, so I'm trying to make it, trying to rig it in a way that I'm able to do it by myself. So I recommend uh, another person if you are making a 10 foot long box. Okay, so it's coming along. I have one wall, one side of the box on. I got the deck in place. I'm basically gonna do the same exact thing that I did with this side, using these little guys to create the space for the coping. So I'm gonna flip it over, do the exact same thing I just did with the other side, and probably wrap it up. I'm losing daylight. I'm not sure what time it is, but the sun's going down and I don't know how much more light I'll have. But definitely, I'll try to get this other wall on and then do the coping next. Nothing screwed in yet, I'll do that shortly. But it's starting to look like a box. Nothing's perfect, these measurements aren't exact. Building it on your own, you're gonna have a lot of challenges like that. So yeah, it's coming along. I think, actually, I'm not gonna do the coping after this. I'm gonna do the bracing on the inside uh, and then see where I go. But that might all be done tomorrow, so. So this inside bracket is probably going to be the hardest part of the whole bracket situation just because, you know, I have this blocking my way now and, you know, on the corners I was able to get around it by going kind of outside, but this is going to be a little tricky. So expect that to be the hardest part of your build if you do a build similar to this. I realized I didn't get larger screws, so I'll probably get those tomorrow and finish this up. But for tonight, I think I'm just going to finish up this and then just saw the pieces, the lengths I need for this like spacing. These little two by three um, I'm just going to sink them all the way to the top of the box. It's the bottom right now because the box is upside down. I'm probably going to do three of those on this side. One behind the bracket, one in the middle, one somewhere around here. On this side, same thing, evenly spaced. So that way I can take the load off of these L brackets with, with this. Now, the 2x4s that I have, the scrap 2x4s, I think what I'm going to do is instead of cutting this to fit on the inside here, I want the box to be a little higher. So I'm going to use these guys on the bottom, probably just one, one in the middle, and then one on the end. And that'll get me two inches higher than the original plan. I think it'll be about the same height as my P-rail. So there's a 2x4 on the bottom, 7-inch plank, and then one and a quarter PVC pipe. So this will be roughly the same height as that guy over there. Okay, so I have all the 
the piece is cut, the uh, inside support, I'm going to flip the box up on its side in order to drill into it to get the screws in. So I don't want to drill from the side here, I kind of want to like drill down. So I'm going to flip it upright and I'm going to start with the ends and then I'm going to do this end and then the first one on that end and then I think I'm just going to go down one direction. Um, I think that'll be probably the best, I'm not really sure. So I'm kind of just guessing where the beam is on the inside here. I'm kind of using one of the other beams as like a reference, kind of figuring out where and exactly it is. I, I think for the ends this is going to be a relatively easy kind of thing. I don't know what I'm going to do once I get to the middle. Might, might just try to keep using this technique. But yeah, I'm going to drill, uh, drill another hole into this guy. I only drilled it through this first piece of wood. This beam screwed in on both sides and I have the same beam screwed in on the other side. I had to shift it back a little further because of that split at the top deck. There's some heads of screws sticking out so I couldn't get it close to the brackets as I wanted but it's just an aesthetic thing. It doesn't really have anything to do with the structure. So I got the, these two beams completely screwed in. I think what I'm going to do is the bottom part. So the 2x4, I'm going to do that next and then do the rest of the inside beams. I'm just gonna do two screws here and then two screws here. Oh, nice. That fit right? Yeah, that fit right? Cool. Thank well, you. Have fun. We <laughs> <laughs> need another battery. I don't know how much that one's got left. Okay, cool. You just knock on my door when you're done. Or yeah, for you. Maybe text or something. Thank you. Yeah, it looks like it works. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. So my neighbor let me borrow his hand saw or a uh, circular saw. So that saved me a lot of time. Again, if you don't have the budget for power tools, you know, get a hand saw. It takes longer. It might not be as accurate, but uh, power tools definitely help. <laughs> Okay, so I just screwed that on. Uh, I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. I think after I do this, I'm going to skip the inside beams and then just go straight to the coping. And that way I can flip it over and show you guys what it looks like before I get the rest of the screws for the inside beams. No one's gonna see that, but it is important for the uh, structural integrity. I think what I'm gonna do with the coping is tack it down. So I'm going to go in just through the bottom of the inside of the pipe screw it into the wood, tack it down over here, and then that'll keep this steady while I do all the drilling through the top to sink it to the bottom. And that hope that I won't have to like hold it while I'm drilling the, through the, the PVC pipe. But yeah, basically almost done. Just need to put this side on, and then I'm gonna do this side. In order to get my first anchor down, what I did was I used the inside supports that I haven't screwed in yet just to keep the pipe on the groove. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole coming in from the outside just right about here, put my first screw in, and that's just really just an anchor, and then go down and do the rest of the screws. So I drilled my first hole through the bottom of the PVC. I'm not going to worry about going through the top. There's really no need when it's really just this close to the outside. So I'm going to screw through that hole and that'll hold this in place while I basically just do the rest of the screws. All right, so here's my anchor. It kind of stripped the screw. It's a weird angle to kind of screw in like that. I'm not too worried about it. I don't plan on pulling that out ever again. So it'll keep the pipe 
in place while you do your, the rest of the um, screws and the coping. So if you've seen my P-Rail video, you'll know how to do this. If not, I'm going to show you guys. So when you go to mount the PVC to the box, what you have to do is drill a hole through the top of the PVC and then drill a smaller hole in the bottom side of the PVC. So that way you can sink the screw through the top of the PVC, but not the bottom. So the screw head will grip the bottom because you drill a smaller hole in the bottom of the PVC. Okay guys, so I finished drilling all the holes in the coping. I think what I'm gonna do is I left a bit of a gap between the center hole and this one. I just spaced them out weird, but they're even. So I think what I'm gonna do is, since most of these screws, or all these screws, are coming down from the top, I think what I'm gonna do is flip the box upright, or up on its side, and do a screw coming through the side of the coping into the deck. So that way, when you're, like let's say if you're doing a lot of like transfers from one side to the other, when you have all that force hitting the coping going outward, this screw will keep it secure to the deck. I'm going to do that now and then flip it over and do the rest of the support beams that I haven't done yet underneath. I'm going to do the screw between, um, I have a hole here and a hole in the middle, so I'm just going to come right about here in the middle of those two holes and screw it into the deck. I don't know if I've told you guys yet, but I'm just using, for the coping, I'm using my two inch screws. That way it gives you grip in the pipe and the wood before it has to sink through this top part of the coping. Okay guys, so I'm completely done with the coping. I got quite a few screws in from the top going down into the walls, and then I got two screws on each side going from the side into the deck. That's all done, it's, it's really strong. I pulled on it, it's, it's, I'm happy with it. Now I'm gonna do the rest of the internal support. Probably, I don't know, honestly, I'm thinking this thing is so solid at this point. I'm thinking about just doing so I got the two on the ends. I'm gonna do two more a little closer in, and then one more closer to these brackets that are in the center. There's no need to like put like eight or nine or 10 of these, these support beams in here. Uh, the amount I have right now will probably do just fine. So I'm gonna do that now, and then add the final. Then I'm just gonna add the final, whatever I'm calling this in the middle and the whole box will be done. I've been sanding things as I go just because I want to make it easier to carry. I don't want anyone to get splinters or anything if I'm, you know, moving this places and having help with other people. So yeah, I've just been sanding it up. It It's basically done. I'm just going to screw these in and I'll show you guys all the details uh, once it's complete. So working with these inside beams, what I did was I put a screw on this side, a screw on this side coming in from the outside, and now what I'm going to do is just do some two inch screws on the inside kind of at an angle, so that way they go through this beam and then into the side wall. Okay guys, so there's the screw, it's at like a 45 degree angle going into the, the side wall. I did one here, I also did one here. I think that's gonna be enough support. This is pretty, not really going anywhere. So that'll take the weight off of these brackets that I have in here. I'm not gonna take the brackets out, I'm gonna leave them for you know just reinforcement purposes. But yeah, uh, I got one in the middle, I'm gonna do one more down there, one more down here. And that's really all I think I need inside. 
Okay, so all the inside support beams are done. Now I just need to add that final piece over there in the middle. So we'll have three in total, two at the ends, and then that one in the middle. And then it's completely done. Okay, so the box is all done. While I have it flipped over, I wanted to show you guys the inside. Here's the support beams. Brackets. Some in the middle. I have one on the end, two, three, four, five support beams in total. Then I have three of these, I guess, legs, you could call them. And really, the only reason why I added those was to just keep the ramp, like these walls, off of the ground as much as possible. Also, to give the, ramp, or the box two extra inches of height. So that's really what these are here for. Now I'm going to flip the box over and show you guys what it looks like. So that is the construction of the box. It's 10 feet long. It's about 10 inches high. It's coping on both sides. If you guys have any questions on how I built this, I will try to answer them as quickly as possible. If you guys leave a comment down below, I'll include all the materials I used and all the hardware I used in the description box. I'll try to price it up too. I'm not really sure where I'm at with that. I think it was about 90 bucks. So. Yeah, if you guys like the video, go ahead and give it a like. If you guys want to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe. Right now, I think I'm going to session the box. Uh, if you guys want to see that, stick around. trying far side switch sole. Closer. Ah. Ooh, super sketchy, but it kind of, <laughs> kind of locked in the place. I don't know, it was like this.
there's something about new PVC that's really sticky. I don't know what it is. I think, you know, even if I sanded it, I think there's just like a top coat that needs to be like worn away or something. But a uh, little practice session just to get test it, see how it holds up. Nothing too crazy. If you guys like the video, go ahead and give it a like. If you want to see more like this, subscribe. I think I already did this. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the box building video. Let me know in the comments if you want to see me build something else. I might run out of room here soon in my garage.